Hi, this is Teacher Wang. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our topic is changing decimals to fractions. So if you want to learn how to change decimals to fractions, keep on watching! Okay, so we have here two examples. In the first example, we have 45 hundreds. And in our second example, we have 475 thousands. Okay, so let us convert first number one. So before I proceed in changing decimal to fraction, okay, we have rules to be followed. The first thing is to determine the place value of the last digit. So because the place value of the last digit from the right of the decimal is hundreds, it means that we have to multiply 45 hundreds by 100 over 100. So we all know here that um, every number has 1 in the denominator. So we have here now 45 hundreds over 1. So we have to multiply it by 100 over 100. Okay, so we have now here 45 hundreds times 100 that is equal to 45. And then 1 times 100 that is equal to 100 so we have here now 45 over 100 so we all know that 45 over 100 is not written in simplest form so we need to simplify this one to simplify it we need to reduce it into lowest term to reduce it into lowest term we need to find the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator and we all know that the gcf of the two is 5. So both are divisible by 5. So we need to divide it by 5 over 5. So 45 divided by 5, we have 9. And 100 over 5, we have 20. So it means that 45 hundreds is equal to 9 over 20. Okay, so let us proceed to our second example. We have 475 thousands. Okay, similar to the procedure in the first example, we need to determine the place value of the last digit. In this case, the place value is thousands. So it means that we need to multiply 475 thousands by 1000 over 1000. We all know that every number has denominator of 1. Therefore, 475 thousands over 1 Okay, multiply by 1,000 over 1,000 is equal to 475 over 1,000. Okay, so this fraction is not written in simplest form. So we need to simplify this one by um, finding the greatest common factor. And we all know that the greatest common factor is 25. Okay, so divide both numerator and denominator by 25 okay so 475 divided by 25 that is equal to 19 and 1000 over 25 is equal to 40 so the result is 19 over 40 thanks for watching my video i hope you enjoy our today's lesson again this is teacher wang bye